Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to replace the mirror glass on a P3 Volvo. Now, I've got a job that I've got to do. Um, I've removed this before and um, it hasn't quite gone back on right, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you guys exactly how to remove uh, the mirror glass and replace it if you were going to. So you'll see here, I've got a little white flap and I'll explain what that is in a second, but we'll get you set up on the GoPro and uh, start this process. Now the first thing you need to do is point the mirror completely inwards. Um, so don't worry, set your memory setting on your um, on your seat and uh, it will remember the mirror position that you had before. Um, and this works for both sides. So obviously on the left hand side or the passenger side here in the UK, um, point it all the way into the car. And it's the same on the right hand side or driver's side here in the UK. You just point it the left hand side in the car. Now. What that does is it gives you a space here uh, that you can get your fingers into and all you need to do is pull forward on the mirror glass and you'll hear it come unclipped and there you go that is it so what we need to do now is just remove these um, heater element parts here i don't know if you can see those little plugs that slide on there not technical in any way just make sure we don't drop the glass there you go there's one and there's two. Now my mirror has actually stopped heating as well on this side, uh, which is a little bit annoying. But um, here we go. This is also how you replace your side repeater here. You just twist the bulb out and you can replace it uh, nice and easily. So you see here that we've got our flap um, that come disconnected. So I'm gonna slot it back in now. Um, these are essentially little guidance flaps. Don't really do much to be honest. Um, they hold the mirror in place, I guess. Um, so I'm just gonna clip this one back into its housing. I mean, this one made it on a 5,000 mile trip to Sweden and back hanging in there. So it's, it's not been an issue, um, but we're just going to make sure now that we reconnect the mirror. Now you've got to do these in the right order, otherwise the mirror won't heat. And I think that's probably why it hasn't been working. So just slide it on like this. There's one, there's a little flap out of the way. There's two, like so. And now what needs to happen is these white flaps need to fit into these two gaps here, um, that one, and there's one below. So we just need to thread those in, which you guys won't be able to see. Just use your finger to guide them. Or you can use some sort of long item. There we go, so they've slid in nicely. And now you just need to brace against the back of the mirror cover here with your fingers and push and that's clipped together really nicely now this is also what you need to do if you want to remove the mirror cap and i've made a video on that which i'll link down in the description below actually and uh that's it but now we've um got rid of our annoying little flappy thing which is starting to make a noise and the mirrors all fixed so let's get in the car um, and put the mirror back in position so that when mrs dl gets in the car um she won't be wondering what's going on now of course it will do it um automatically if you've set your memory which she has uh, but i just thought it'd be good to show you guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press and hold this number one here and you'll see the mirror angle changing like so and that's now in my position just to prove that it does it on each setting i'm going to press number two now and you'll see how it changes for mrs dl as well as has the seat so we'll put it back in my position awesome feature um also if you've got two keys you can give your partner one um or anyone else who drives the car and they can set their memory to this key as well which is quite cool now i have got two keys but i don't want to lose them so um we only use one and use this other one as an emergency key but um yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know your thoughts uh if this has been helpful and i'll see you next video cheers